This is why you need to care about water. The Aral Sea was a giant blue gem in Central Asia. Now it's a graveyard of rusted ships. Here's how one of the world's largest lakes simply disappeared. Back in the 1960s the Aral Sea was the world's fourth largest lake, straddling Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Fishing, shipping, even the local climate depended on this vast stretch of blue. But in the 1930s, the Soviet Union had a plan to divert the two rivers feeding the sea, the AMU Daria and Sir Daria, to grow cotton in the middle of the desert. Sounds clever, right? Except those rivers were the Aral Sea's lifeblood. Year by year water was sucked away into leaky canals and endless cotton fields. The sea began to shrink, fast. By 2007 it had lost more than 90% of its area, splitting into two lonely puddles and leaving behind the Aralcom Desert. With salt levels spiking fish died off and whole fishing towns vanished. The impact? Huge. Ships now sit stranded in the sand and ghost towns like Moynak are left behind. Winds whip up toxic dust from the exposed seabed spreading disease and pollution. People face higher rates of respiratory illness and infant mortality, and the region's winters got colder, summers hotter. But there's a glimmer of hope. Kazakhstan built the Koch Aral Dam, bringing life back to part of the North Aral Sea. Water, fish, even birds are returning. Want to learn more? Visit unep.org, and don't forget to subscribe for more shocking stories about our changing world.